a galactic occasion is coming that will daze the world. Researchers affirm the small star framework Tony Borealis is a ticking delayed bomb acquiring material and energy for a colossal blast in 2024. This blast star will out of nowhere emit, momentarily blasting more splendid than every other night sky object for a couple of days. This staggering grandiose glimmer bulb will be effectively apparent all over the planet. However, this splendid burst might be a startling sign of a danger a long ways past our universe. How about we jump into grasping novae and intermittent novae? This burst star might appear like an innocuous astronomical firecrackers show. But truly, Tony Borealis stows away an unexplained secret profound inside its core as it plans to eject. Could this minuscule star framework be an admonition indication of something undeniably more dismal sneaking in the immense obscure in the huge spread of our cosmic system? In the midst of the whirling heavenly bodies and the gleam of far-off suns lies an interesting and baffling peculiarity known as a nova. These heavenly occasions, while not as destructive as their more fierce cousins, the supernovae, offer an incredible demonstration of vast firecrackers that can enlighten the night sky with abrupt splendor. Novae, especially repetitive novae like Tony Borealis, are not simply heavenly peculiarities. They are inestimable puzzles that have fascinated space experts for quite a long time. To get a handle on the nature of a nova, it is essential to comprehend what it is and how it differs from other heavenly blasts, most notably a cosmic explosion. A nova occurs in a binary star framework where two stars circle a typical focal point of mass. One of the stars is a white dwarf, a dense remnant of a star that has depleted its nuclear fuel. The white dwarf leads a parasitic existence, siphoning material from its companion star, generally a fundamental sequence star or a giant. This material, mostly hydrogen, gathers on the white dwarf surface where intense gravity and heat trigger nuclear fusion reactions. The result is an unexpected dangerous release of energy that makes the white dwarf light up decisively. This lighting up is what we see as a nova. However, with Tony Borealis about to explode and radiate brilliantly, the unavoidable issue is, could this peculiar occasion uncover privileged insights about the secrets of the universe? Now, you might wonder how these nova eruptions contrast from a cosmic explosion. The distinction lies in the scale and results of the blast. A cosmic explosion is the terminal blast of a star, bringing about its complete obliteration and the release of an enormous measure of energy, often surpassing whole universes and creating a large portion of the universe's iron and heavier components. Conversely, a nova is a surface peculiarity that doesn't annihilate the white dwarf, allowing it to potentially rehash the cycle if enough material collects again. Intermittent novae are frameworks where the nova occasion rehashes itself due to the persistent accumulation of material onto the white dwarf, unlike traditional novae which might burst once and at absolutely no point in the future. Repetitive novae like Tony Borealis discharge up at intervals dictated by the mass exchange rate in their double frameworks. This consistency makes them invaluable to stargazers who study the mechanics of gradual accretion and the development of double star frameworks. Imagine a universe where divine timekeepers tick with the consistency of white dwarfs aggregating matter only to release it in brilliant explosions of light. This perfect timing regularity is uncommon in the universe, making Tony Borealis and its subjects of serious study. How frequently does the heavenly exhibition occur for Tony Borealis? The intervals are around 80 years, a flicker of an eye in enormous terms, but a lifetime in human terms. Each explosion offers cosmologists a new chance to look into the processes that govern heavenly development and binary star dynamics. Yet, why should we, as mere spectators on Earth, care about these far-off fireworks? Here's a compelling reason. Grasping novae assists us with getting a handle on the essential processes that govern the universe. The material launched out by novae improves the interstellar medium with heavy elements, which in turn can form new stars and planets. Also. Concentrating on these frameworks allows researchers to test theories of how matter behaves under extreme conditions, providing insights that no lab on Earth can reproduce. There's an even more fascinating aspect to consider. Could the investigation of repetitive novae like Tony Borealis help us anticipate or grasp comparable frameworks that could represent a danger to Earth? While the distances involved make any direct impact very unlikely, the fiery peculiarities associated with novae, like high-energy radiation and cosmic rays, 
could influence our planet's space environment in ways we are only beginning to understand. Yet, imagine a scenario where these infinite eruptions are something beyond firework shows. What if they are warnings from the universe itself about dangers lurking far beyond our divine neighborhood? The 80-year cycle and recent observations have led to a stunning revelation. Mainstream researchers have uncovered startling evidence that the secret of burst star Tony Borealis is preparing for another staggering blast, one that could shake the universe to its core. This repetitive nova ignites in a catastrophic eruption generally every 80 years, and the most recent data suggests we are next in line for a cosmic spectacular view in mid-2024. Why do cosmologists believe that Tony Borealis is about to illuminate the night sky once again? The signs are unmistakable. Recent observations have shown an increase in activity around Tony Borealis, suggesting that the White Dwarf and its companion star are once again gearing up for another dangerous event. The material being pulled from the Red Giant Companion has been accumulating at an accelerated speed, as identified through spectral analysis that shows elevated hydrogen absorption lines. This is a clear sign that the White Dwarf is feasting on the fuel necessary for its next disastrous blast. How does this technology help predict when Tony Borealis might detonate? By observing the light spectrum emitted by the framework, space experts can literally watch the nightmare scenario unfold before their eyes, noting subtle changes in the intensity and position of emission lines. These changes are indicative of the conditions inside the white dwarf's discharge disk, the ring of material spiraling into the white dwarf. As the material density increases, so does the likelihood of reaching the critical pressure and temperature needed to trigger the nova. These spectroscopic readings are supplemented by photometric data, which measure the star's brightness over time. A rapid increase in brightness serves as the definitive sign that the high-energy hell is about to be unleashed upon the unsuspecting universe. Tony Borealis is no ordinary star. It's a divine delayed bomb counting down to destruction. This intermittent nova has fascinated space experts with its predictable yet startling pattern of blasts every 80 years. This intriguing star framework, consisting of a white dwarf and a red giant, has had documented blasts in 1866 and 1946. Now, as we approach the 80-year point since the last event, overwhelming evidence signals that another eruption is imminent. This impending astronomical explosion could be the most damaging yet. If predictions come true, Tony Borealis will suddenly erupt from a faint tenth magnitude object, requiring optics to see into a blinding second magnitude star, bursting more brilliantly than the most renowned luminaries for a few days. This eruption will offer a haunting observational window into the violent death throes of a binary star framework. The brief yet brilliant nova may finally reveal key secrets about the destructive forces driving the repeating death cycles of binary stars. The 80-year cycle of Tony Borealis is especially interesting because of the dynamics of its binary framework. The red giant continually loses material from its outer layers, which then accumulates on the surface of its companion white dwarf. This material builds up until the pressure and heat trigger a nuclear explosion, resulting in the nova we see from Earth. The cycle is driven by the mass transfer rate between the two stars and the efficiency with which the white dwarf can gather and compress the incoming matter. In addition, this looming heavenly projectile might pack an even greater impact than anticipated. Recent findings reveal one, and possibly two, magma chambers hiding beneath the surface, adding a whole new level of complexity to the situation. The primary chamber, known since the 1980s, pales in comparison to the massive secondary chamber found more recently. Imagine a hidden reservoir of molten material just waiting to fuel future eruptions. Finally, satellite observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and Gaia are our lifelines in monitoring this impending disaster. They provide vital pure data free from atmospheric distortions, painting a clearer picture of Tony Borealis's behavior and its position in the universe. Gaia, on its mission to map the Milky Way in three dimensions, is giving us precise measurements of stellar positions, distances, and movements, illustrating Tony Borealis's antics in the galaxy. Now, let's confront the sheer gravity of what we're facing. If predictions come true and Tony Borealis erupts in 2024, we are not just seeing a cosmic event. We're observing a real-time lab for understanding the destructive mechanics behind it. Astronomers are gearing up for what might be the most critical live observational event in decades 
dissecting the explosive death throes of a binary star framework. As we prepare for the impending upheaval of Tony Borealis's potential nova eruption, let's rewind to the stunning historical eruptions of 1866 and 1946, revealing the frighteningly unpredictable nature of this binary star framework. The first irrefutable eruption of this star occurred on May 12, 1866. Irish astronomer John Birmingham, an enthusiastic amateur sky watcher, noticed a sudden brightening in the constellation Corona Borealis. Overnight, Tony Borealis changed from a star barely visible, even through telescopes, to one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This 1866 eruption set up for Tony Borealis's acknowledgement as an intermittent nova. It would take another 80 years to confirm this pattern. Fast forward to 1946 and the role of amateur astronomers. 